Hello, in this video I am going to cover how to upgrade your custom firmware on your PS3. So you might want to do this if there's a newer version out, maybe you're on let's say 4.85, 4.87 is the latest and you want to upgrade to a 4.87 custom firmware or you because there's different you know types of custom firmwares you might want to go from which is, which is what i'll do for the for the purpose of this video you go from evil nat cobra to the ferrex custom firmware so you might want to switch from one custom firmware still on the same version to another custom firmware either way you're all good to go this assumes you've already you know jailbroken your console using a custom firmware i've got a video covering that feel free to check that out you can you know just easily go to the discord page and literally if you go to ps3 channel and actually i never posted there if you go to the announcement sorry and it'll be right here you'll be able to find it or you can just have a look on our channel in general actually the reason it's not here i haven't, I haven't uploaded it yet the install custom firmware video is actually not uploaded i will be uploading that soon and i'll put that in the ps3 channel from the discord group you will need to go to the ps3 channel and grab a few different things okay so what you will need if you go to pinned messages i just find it's easier this way you will first of all need a fat 32 formatting tool so click that and just click the image it'll download the GUI format tool you will also obviously need a usb stick what i've found is you can do this on linux and mac as well it's got to make sure that you can format your usb stick to fat32 what i found if your usb stick is small enough like mine you can format it via into fat32 using just a built built-in windows tool by going right click format you know do, did i do format format and there we go but something like this for example which is huge it doesn't give me the format i mean the fat 32 option so you need another tool and i generally use that tool anyway so it's a good tool to have okay so once you've downloaded this you will also need a custom firmware so if you go to psx place and on here i'm on 4.87 and we'll go in here because that is the latest one so far but what we can do is like i said switch over to a different one so i'm switching from the evil nat to the ferrex because i don't have the ferrex one i've got evil nat so if i just open that and cex if you have the dx the debug one obviously this you know explains some stuff right here this guy did if they the dx option and you are on a dx console you know f you may make sure you use that one if you don't know chances are you probably on cx if some like debug information in the bottom right chances are it's dx okay so i'm just going to download that and do, do, do click download and this is now downloading so what this downloads let's actually format our usb stick so if i'm going to click that Remember, this will wipe everything. This will delete everything off your USB stick. So make sure you have anything important backed up. Okay, the other thing I want to show you is if I, you know, open a file, file explorer and make sure you select the right drive because like I said, this is going to delete everything. So you want whichever one, you know, you want to delete for me, it's N. If I click start, it's going to fail. And quick format is fine so the reason it's failing is because we got file explorer open this tool requires all instances of file explorer to be closed click start uh, mm, still not working so if i click start again still not working so if that happens just try a different usb port or unplug and replug and i just don't want to click format on that because that's something that i actually need if we go back to the downloads I'll get rid of this if i open this up so n click start it's gonna fail close down file explorer click start it's gonna succeed there we go it's formatted now so what we need to do now is go to this ferrex file and all of these you know update files you know when you update to a different custom firmware needs to be renamed to ps3 
updat.pup. So that's basically, let me refresh, it's basically PS3 update minus the e.pup. That's the format name for PS3 update files, and it needs to be uppercase. So I'm going to copy that, go to your newly formatted USB stick, and create a new folder called PS3, and you know, type that correctly, all uppercase, click new folder called update with the E, all uppercase, and now paste it into here. Okay, so now that you've got whatever custom firmware you want to update to or switch to, I guess, we can switch over to the PS3, which we will, well, you know, update to the different custom firmware. So I'll see you on the PS3. So we are now back to the PS3, or not back, now back, we are on the PS3 now, and we can actually update the custom firmware. So I'm gonna turn the console on, make sure your USB stick is plugged into the, you know, into your PS3 as well. The reason I'm turning it on now is that I want it to, let me show you some of the right input to be fair, just show you. Missed it. Let me just turn this off. And I'll turn it back on again. I just want to show you what firmware I'm currently on because you'll come up with, you know, Evo NAT. Okay, so let's turn it back on. You hear that, you know, that old PS3 beep. Okay, so here we go. And as you saw, it said evil nat. And now what we can, if I go, let's go all the way to your, let me just move the phone in a second. Okay, you should go all the way to your left. Go to system update, go to update by storage media. It detects the firmware, I click okay. And we just go to the right, click accept, and we click start. You can select the option to turn off if you want to, but I just wanted to well, restart once it's actually installed. So it's, it's just going to copy it first. The copying process doesn't take too long. It's the installation process that takes a bit more time. Okay, you just gotta wait patiently for a while it copies over and then you'll do the update. Okay, so now it is just going to do the update again. It's just a matter of waiting patiently. And it's just a checking for update. So make sure you just press the PlayStation button on your controller. I just did and the LED has come up now and it's going to install the update. So installing. Okay, we're at 3%, 4%, we're at 5% in the moment. Shouldn't take long. So we are a fifth of the way through now.
just want to mention that this video is for educational purposes and it is not condoning piracy. Okay, so that's just skipped to 100%. That's fine, it usually does that. So I just gotta wait for the console to boot up now. And there you go, it says Cobra Ferrex, and that's it. We've upgraded the custom firmware. I'll just press the PlayStation button, and really not much more to it than that. Obviously, you got the package manager, you know, the if you go to system settings, scroll down go to system information this doesn't change you know that's not an issue so i just switched firmware but you could upgrade a firmware so if let's say you're on cobra 4.86 when you get to cobra 4.87 you can do that that's not a problem that's it really simple thanks for watching and well i look forward to seeing you in the next video